is Rula and Ryan's Rapid Fire Quiz on 104.1 KRB. All right, let the games begin. <laughs> Boy, like, what did you throw? A I, in know, I threw. I threw something in the trash. It was way heavier than I thought it was going to be. Anyway, okay, it is the rapid fire quiz today. Up for grabs. Pete Davidson tickets at, Mu- at Bayou Music Center. He's going to be there at the end of the month, November the thirtieth. And your chance to win these tickets if you have chosen the correct contestant to play along with. Uh, in the studio, it is Rula. It that's me. Then there's Eric. Then there's Special K. Then we got Sam. Then we got Ahmad. We are the players. Ryan asks the questions, and the yes. contestants are. Ariana, Chris, Selena, Talina, and Alexa. Now, the order order we've chosen this morning, because Eric won last week, we're going clockwise here, it will be Kevin, followed by Sam, Ahmad, Rula, and then Eric. And I added everything up so far, Mm -hmm. because we only have like six more games left of the year. Oh, wow. And right now, I have 13 wins, Rula has 12 wins. Oh, wow. Kevin has eight wins, Sam has five wins, and Ahmad... That's five wins as well. Well, there's oh, a time wow. to play, so we get down to the end here. I'd say it was a pretty diverse season. Yeah, yeah. yeah usually it's like Rula's got let, 24. Let me, yeah. let me tell you how. <laughs> says eight. <laughs> let me tell you how Rapid Fire Quiz really pranks with some people. I was at uh, the grocery store yesterday, my favorite place to be, mm-hmm. and one of our listeners was there and said hi to me. And she's like, I just love that Rapid Fire Quiz, but I just... I, you just get robbed all the time. They just find reasons to not give you points. Oh, that's what's funny about wow. it. Golden State Warriors, like, oh, they. You, how do you feel sorry for them? They win all the time. So, so. now you're that person. You're the Golden oh, State Warrior. You've won like two years in a row. But nobody feels sorry for you because you have 13 wins. Let's see. Is there going to be today. an end of the year ultimate victor where no. they'll have you their own special music. prize? Well, Kevin needs to win out. Win out? What does that mean? Because if there's only six games left, he's got eight. Just, just a tie. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, gotcha, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, Special K, Good Sam, luck, Ahmad, me, Eric. That is the order. The first round will eliminate two people because we've got Ooh. five players. And the first round's a little bit longer. It's 75 seconds on the clock. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. So. There is nothing more evident. Kevin, he can only lose. <laughs> Come on. Have more confidence <laughs> you in yourself. This. Here we go. All right. We are ready. Kevin in three, two. One. Kevin, 1993 rom-com with Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. You got mail. Sam, someone who designs buildings. An architect. Ahmad, sour food made from milk fermented with bacteria. Sour cream. Rule, a small furry animal with mask-like markings around its eyes. Reckon. Eric, the process of choosing someone for a job by voting. Election. Kevin, the most watched sports event in the USA. <laughs> Super Bowl. Sam, person who hears and decides cases in a court. A judge. Ahmad, curved tube to breathe while swimming face down in water. Snorkel. Rula, breathing noisily through your mouth while sleeping. Snoring. Eric, game show where relatives answer survey questions. Family feud. Kevin, punctuation mark meaning a pause in a sentence. Comma. Sam, midway point of a football game. Uh-huh. Ahmad, pleated oh, plaid yeah. skirt. Yeah. Pleated plaid skirt worn by men in Scotland. Kilt. Rula formed in 1875. <laughs> this is the most famous horse race. Grand Prix. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Director of the Dark Knight trilogy in Arp Oppenheimer. Chris. Uh-huh. Guy. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know Elephant <laughs> tusks are made of this. <laughs> Ivory. Sam, 80s uh, rock band. Time. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Kevin chooses Don't because got Kevin that right. got that last one. He got three yeah. points. Everybody else has two points. Whoa. Here's what we missed. Sleepless in Seattle. Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan. Yeah. Yes. Yogurt, Ahmad. Yogurt. Is that food. Yogurt. That's sour I don't cream. know what my Grand Stakes, Grand Prix, Grand no, Freakness yeah. Stakes. What was it even? The Trophy Cup. The, the Kentucky, Horse race. Kentucky Derby. Probably. Kentucky, Kentucky Derby. Derby. Darn it. Chris Nolan, the director Nolan, of the Dark yeah. Knight trilogy. I Chris yeah. Columbus, Chris Pine. Chris Pratt. And then halftime, Sam. Half I time. was thinking for some reason. How'd you get that the wrong? half of the field. Yeah, yeah you're a big football yeah. fan. I know, but I was thinking so, like the field, like the yeah. middle. Oh. Where it meets right in the middle? What's that called? Yeah. The 50-yard line. Right? Yeah. I said the That's midway was- of the game. Shut up. Okay, Kev. So so unfortunately, Special K chooses which two of us get... Who's getting booted? Blown out of here. Oh. Big shocker who it's going to be. Go know that me. one. Eric. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go she's taking me out. <laughs> Eric's gone. Yeah. Rula. Oh. Just gone that darn Kentucky Derby. So this reminds me of the World Series. Two teams nobody gives a crap about. Oh. I was thinking yeah. more That's what's like, going on now. I was thinking more goes. like Thanksgiving Which dinner. Which one is Arizona? Which one's the Rangers? This like, is like Thanksgiving dinner. It's the kids at the card table. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Listen right. to the kids, bro. 
So it ended with special case uh, correct question, correct answer last. So Sam starts the second round. Sam, it's Sam, oh, Ahmad, right. and then Let special case. Let me scratch rule and Eric off the list. Wow, this is different. Dang. That's all right. Mm. Darn going Kentucky down, Derby. This rule is going down, too. That's Dang it. it. <laughs> yeah. Darn That's Kentucky Derby. With me. Uh, you should have driven him crazy by keeping him in. I'm keeping like, me in, Kevin. I'm like, Leo, I'm going to drag you down, though. I'm not going to let you float on that board. <laughs> Oh my Get on the door. No, no you're taking 60, on the door. 60 seconds in the second round. So yep. we'll start Do with it. you, Sam. Got it. Three, two, one. Sam, 80s rock band with one arm drummer. A Led Zeppelin. Uh-huh. Ahmad, South, soft round hat worn by French people. A beret. Kevin, to hit or smack someone with an open hand. Slap. Sam, Phyllis, Stanley, Oscar, and Meredith are characters on this TV show. I don't know. Oh. Ahmad, Canadian rapper who released one dance. Drake. Kevin, a small depression in a person's cheek. Dimple. Sam, money offered to make someone do something dishonest. A bribe. Ahmad, a building in which grain is turned into flour. A silo. Kevin, which biblical figure parted the Red Sea? That was Moses. Sam, Adam Sandler drew Barrymore comedy set in the 80s. Uh, 50 for seats. Uh-huh. Ahmad, round turning platform with animal figures people sit on. Carousel. I'll give it to you. Uh, uh, Kevin, a male sheep. Uh, sheep. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> Sam, the name of Jesus' birthday. I'm out. All right. Mm. That would be Christmas. So, Sam, if she had answered that, she would have tied him on. If you had answered Christmas, you would have tied him on. You missed Wedding Singer and you missed The Office. Ooh, what is Just singer? watch the freaking Wedding Singer. Oh, okay. and then, you also missed uh, 80s rock band with one arm drummer was Def Leppard. I think you had okay. one of those shirts. Oh, actually, yeah, she was out. I gave her a point for that. Yeah. She did not say no, Def Leppard. Uh, You're right. So she would have been out no, no matter what. No, okay, the building in which Woo. grain is turned into flour is a mill. Oh, oh okay. I was about to say that. What is a silo? That's where you hold the grain. Okay, good. Or a bin. I was close. But you didn't get a point for that. So it's Kevin is what I grew up with called Ben. And what's the last one that Kevin missed with the male sheep is a sheep? Ram. 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 Oh. Oh. The male sheep is a goat. That's your client. The male sheep is a bear. Uh, (laughs) Okay. So it is a mod in Special K. Will a mod be victorious, hence giving Special K the second place winner title again? He's not. Uh, 11 weeks since you've had a victory, Kev. But you've been in the finals been so the many times. times. I've been in the finals like seven times. <laughs> All right. Ah. Sam's out. Just Ahmad's saying. in. If so I'm Ahmad gets the show. first question because Sam had Christmas as the last I need to get this on price question. picks. I need to make this into their... <laughs> fantasy <laughs> league? So people can make a fantasy bets. All right. Here we go. Ahmad, Ahmad first. 60, 60 seconds. seconds on the clock. As you should. Are you ready, Ahmad? Yeah, I'm ready. Come on. Please be sports questions. I want to see these two choke. And I'm... Please, just do all sports. I will laugh my ass off. (laughs) All right, Ahmad, in three, two, one. Ahmad, chopped up fish thrown overboard for bait. Bait. Uh Jump. Jump. Uh Kevin, Elvis Presley's house and resting place. Graceland. Ahmad, this game show has been hosted by Wayne Brady and Monty Hall. Uh What's your price? Kevin, magnetic instrument used to show direction. Compass. Ahmad, what is the most watched sports competition in the world? Uh, the World Cup. Kevin, what kind of ear? Co- what kind of car was destroyed at the end of Ferris Bueller? Uh, Porsche. <laughs> no, Ahmad, a person held for ransom until certain conditions are met. A kidnappee. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, what? When was the last guillotine execution guillotine? in French? In France. So let me start that over. When was the guillotine? last guillotine execution in France? 1947 or 1977? Uh, 77. Ahmad, which right. college football team is known as the Fighting Irish? Sports. Y'all trying to set me up. <laughs> All right, seven. <laughs> National Association of Stock Car Racing is better known as what? NASCAR. Ahmad, oh. rock band. Le- oh. Oh, oh, Kevin oh, ran that one. Oh, oh, Kevin, you destroyed it. Oh, 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 Kevin. Oh, Where's your song? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, yes. Chopped up fish thrown overboard is chum. Oh. Let's make a deal is a game show hosted by Wayne Nobody Brady. Nobody watches that one. Uh, no, let's see. World, World, Cup, yeah. World Cup is the most uh, watched you got sports that one. competition. Uh, the one after that is the one he Hostage. Yeah, person hostage. helped for ransom. Hostage. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't think of hostage. Uh, the Fighting Notre Irish Dame. or Notre Dame. And what's the one that Kevin missed? He missed um, only one, the third question Wait, he got. aren't they the humpbacks? The humpbacks? The humpbacks are Notre Dame? The humpbacks? The humpbacks? The humpbacks? 
Oh. Hunchback to me. Uh, the hunchbacks. Yes. The hunchback yeah, that's is the hunchback. I don't think that's the He's thinking the hunchback of Notre Dame. Okay. Was that a movie? And it's yeah. a guillotine, yeah. Ryan Chase. Guillotine. You don't yeah, say the say, L's. What do you call it? It's like it? saying polo. I got it right. For anyway. polo. <laughs> guillotine. Yes. Tortilla sorry. chip. Uh, tortillas. I'm going to get this tortilla yeah. in yeah. the need bottom to win, of the uh, Alamo. One, two, three, four. You need to win the next five Straight. Five weeks. I got Straight. that. I got that. And you'll tie with me. Yeah. Just a tie, not to win. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that means that Chris is going to see Pete All Davidson right, at Bayou yeah, Music Center. Chris is very excited that Kevin reigns supreme. Chris, hang on the line. We'll get your information off the air. Congratulations. Have fun. November 30th, okay? Awesome. Thank you all. Okay. Right, hold on. Here we go. Coming up next, rate your secret. Maybe you're holding on to something that nobody knows but you, and it's killing you. It just really make you feel better if you could tell someone. Well, we don't know of you. Of course. We don't know your people. Yep. Nobody can tell it's your voice. When I call in the show, if I'm out sick, nobody can tell it's me. So call us up, 713-390-KRBE. We, we won't judge the secret. We'll just tell you how bad or not bad it make is. Make you feel better about yourself because you realize we give it a two and you go, oh, I shouldn't worry about this. I've been carrying this thing like it's a 10. Time. Yeah. And it's really a two? Mm-hmm. Hey, I let this go. I might go the other way, too. I couldn't. Wow, Some people think really it's a two evil. and others think it's a 10. <laughs> so on a scale of one to 10, we'll rate your secret, 713-390-KRBE, next on The Roulette and Ryan Show. Hear your secrets right now. 713-390-KRBE. Rula warned us. We have to listen to the first secret without judging. Well, Actually, it might be our only judge secret. any of them. Why? Because we're going to go on a tangent on the secret? I don't know what it is, but I'm just saying I, we only have like one right there. Oh, okay, the lines okay, are okay. open. That's 713-390-KRBE. 713-390-KRBE. It's Rate Your Secret here on the Rula and Ryan Show. And we are not going to judge the secret. Okay. We're going to hear the secret. I'm nervous. And on a scale of z- 1 to 10... Ten is the worst. One is not so There's bad. There's no way we're going to be able to do this, but I'll try. Okay, let's see what Diana's secret is. Hi, Diana. Welcome to the Rule and Ryan show. Hello. Hello, Hello Diana. You want to share your secret Tell with us? Tell us what you did. What you, what you got? Who you're holding on to? What is this? What is it? So, when I was like 14, I stole my neighbor's dog, and I did not give it back until they posted the reward money. <gasps> you held oh, the neighbor's dog wow. hostage oh, wow. like it's lost. And you waited for them yeah. to post a reward so you could get the money. Can I ask a question? Was that the plan or it just happened? Like, did you even know it was the neighbor's dog? Or like, did you know it, it was just the... happened? When they posted the posters, there was the reward money on it. So then I was like, oh, I'm going to give back the dog now. Let me ask you a question oh, mm. about the dog <laughs> itself. So when you saw this dog and you decided, I'm going to take it, take it home, make it my dog. Your parents did not ask, hey, where'd this dog come from? No, <laughs> they huh. didn't. Wow. 14 years old, my kid comes with a dog. I'm asking where you found that dog. On the street, obviously. And they were okay with you, like, making that That's your good. pet. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And how did your neighbors not see that that's your pet? You just never left the house with their dog until you saw reward money go up and said, oh, look what I found. And I need all more information. How'd you explain, I found your dog magically. Yeah. And how much was the reward money? Um. Well, I was like, hey, I saw this flyer, and it matches your dog, and the reward money was like $100. Okay. Where did you steal the dog from? Was he just roaming around, or did you go into their yard and take him? Oh, he was just roaming around on the street, and there was no collar or anything, so hmm. I thought yeah. he was just a stray. So, at so least, at least it wasn't like, so you didn't no. intentionally you purposely steal purposely take the dog and hold it. That's what it looked like. I was like, she kidnapped the neighbor's dog and held it until they offered the award. Oh, so when you found the dog, you legitimately thought it was just a stray. I thought it was a stray until I realized, like, it was super friendly. And then I was like, oh, this might be someone's dog. I just didn't actively try and find the owner. Oh, it's, see, that dials back. I don't think that's necessarily vicious, but you, all you did was just. I'm so surprised they didn't I thought you were going to say, like, you Take took the, the neighbor's dog, killed it. And then, oh, that, well, that's oh, why I thought this was going because you said, "Don't place. judge her." Well, I've been watching those Netflix. <laughs> right. yeah, we're not going to put a dog I thought, on here. I thought well, she we purposely on stole the neighbor's dog and held it captive until she saw reward flyers yeah. go up to get money. What kind of dog? That's was what it? I thought it was. Diana, what kind of what breed of dog? It was a little fluffy white dog. It wasn't very big. It was dog. like yeah. ten, yeah. fifteen pounds. Yeah. So, from the oh, moment yeah. where you saw the flyer and you realized it was somebody else's dog, to the moment where you actually returned it for the money. How much time had passed? It had been about a week. Ooh. So you knew it was their I'm dog. I'm surprised your parents didn't um, tell the neighbors. Intervene. Like, take it to a vet. Yeah. You know, yeah. you see if the dog's chipped. You know. How long ago was this? You do. She said she was 14. Yeah, but yeah. that doesn't tell us how old she is now. Oh, this was like six, six years ago. Six years ago. Okay. So, so are we writing her secret? We're going to write uh, her secret. Okay. 
One. Holding it until One they ten. offered an award, a reward. Ten being the worst secret. Of See, possible. I'm dialing back. I started with a ten, but now that I realize right. she just took in a stray, well, and it, was there a stray. was no malicious yeah. intent when she took the dog. Yeah, then she saw the. Or is she just saying that for the radio because she knows it does sound really evil. bad? Look at Ahmad. Ahmad's calling you out, Diana. She, he said you took that dog. <laughs> <laughs> Ahmad, come here. Ahmad, Ahmad, come over here. Come on in, because he does the pre-screening on the phone, and Ahmad's saying that you're not. I'm completely thinking she's being pulling truthful. back on the radio now. She's like. Ahmad, Ahmad, what did you, what'd she tell you? That's exactly what you're doing, Diana, because you told me you took the dog and kept it until a reward was posted. Uh-oh, that's a 10. That's a 10. No, I, no uh, one knows who you are. No it might even be a are. fake name. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. You can tell us. We're the tree of trust. Is that, is are we that not, the truth? You knew it was their dog. Are we not the tree of trust? You can tell us. Come on. I still think it's a 10, but you think. You knew it was their dog, right? Silence. Mm-hmm. Now she's not even talking. Now you, you, your silence speaks volumes. Is she there still? I see her on the line. I, I kind of thought it was your dog, but I didn't want to, you know, I just didn't want to give it back. See? Oh, but then I so you are money, fibbing. Fires, okay, you're saying. You know? She was trying to be, uh, like, yeah. she stole your Misty, Sam. Yeah. Oh. To yeah. wait until you post oh, that reward. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Now, if you put it that way, that is a 10. You're getting you're a going 10. You're jail. <laughs> and I'm teaching everybody, your house. Everybody 10 across the board? <laughs> no, no, I'd say it's a 7. If you purposely yeah. steal someone's dog Sammy Joe? to see if they're going to put a reward And you didn't up. know where Sammy Joe went? And, and you kept looking waited. everywhere to know that someone but went and took her? And you're not sure they had it? She didn't say, well, maybe they'll if I wait two weeks they'll jump oh, to $200 man. how long did you have the dog one week she said one total. week she said but one no, week she said one week from where they posted the reward but oh that would be so hard how long was it it, how- it, it took them like half a week to post the reward money so like 10 days you had that dog yes okay okay and that, how did you did you overhear them like you're in the yard you can hear them talking about the dog like we should put in a, a, reward, a reward out, out? How did you know? Or did you convince one? them to put one out, oh, and then maybe oh, somebody will bring it? To you. Yeah. Oh, I just got to ask one more question. <laughs> did this family that owned the dog? Did they have kids? They did not have kids. Okay, I was gonna say because the kids are like. So for those just doggy. tuning in, rate your mm. secret. Let's reset. Diana says that she found a stray quote unquote. However, Mod it turns says out it was the neighbor's dog, and she did not return did the dog until the reward notices were posted. But Ahmad says that she took that dog. I'll give you a nine. And waited for that reward to post so she could make some cash. What, what'd you do with the hundred bucks? Yeah, what'd you buy? That blood money. Yeah, what'd you yeah. <laughs> Blood money. <laughs> Lululemon wasn't around then, what, six years ago, were they? Or? Uh, yeah, but yeah, they weren't yeah. big like they are now. I don't remember, honestly, what I bought with that money. I think it might have been like snacks and just stuff like that. Were they <laughs> suspicious at all? Like oh what, when you gosh. returned the dog, did they look at you funny like, where'd hey, you find where'd you fluffy? find it? Yeah, they just asked me where I found it. I was like, oh, she was walking down the street. Did you tell them when you found it? I did not. Mm. What was that dog's name? That's really going to give it away. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's enough. So, I think we know so, it. So, that's all right. Um, so 10, 10, 10. I, I, I give 10. 9. Yeah, I'm Kevin giving you a 10. Once you seven. said it like it was like she's stealing Misty. Oh, game over. Three tens, a nine, and a that's seven. That's funny. Bob was getting all upset in there. He's like, he's like no. She's don't not. have me up here looking like a liar. You're the liar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just kidding, just kidding. Oh, but happily call our okay, phone. Is- Ahmad can take your calls at 713-390-KRVE. Between that, I'd find your secret. some breaking oh, news. Man. Okay, tell us. From Sam. Yes. And do you want to uh, talk about this real quick? Yeah, this is what I was doing. Sorry, behind the scenes a little bit. I was a little preoccupied. Remember how I had that huge friend divorce and I was like oh, yes. crying on air, like so devastated? Because oh, your yeah. friend didn't see you and when I you messaged were in Pennsylvania her and, and I apologized and then she never texted back. And then I was like, okay, let you me You were do. even there in Pennsylvania. Yes. And you couldn't see her because you- I couldn't see her because Santiago got really, really sick. Sorry, backstory, real quick. I was up in Pennsylvania. Uh, my best friend from undergrad, she was my bridesmaid, everything, like maid of honor, uh, everything, best friend right. in Pennsylvania. Then um, Santiago got really, really sick, and we were supposed to see her on Monday, and I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, my baby is really sick, and then I was flying home Tuesday. So I was not able to see her. And when I was in Pennsylvania, it seemed like she was really understanding, everything Mm -hmm. like that. And then when I get home, I haven't heard from her. I'm like, I miss you, blah, blah, blah. She's like, I just need space. And I was like, what? I don't Mm, understand. That's weird. Yes. So then. And that was a month ago. That was like a month ago. And so she just kept saying she needed space. And I was like, okay. So I texted her and apologized. Then I waited some time because she didn't respond. And then I texted her again and I apologized again. Like, hey, I'm really sorry if I did something wrong. Like, I don't understand. Which you didn't. You didn't. Kids come first. So what she said. Then uh, she sends me something on Facebook and I'm never on Facebook. And so I DM her and I'm like, did you change your number, bro? Like, uh, or is this a scam? She's like, no, I didn't change my number. I was like, uh, I so texted of all you. all the ways she's going to communicate with you, yes. she chose a DM you're never going to check on Facebook. Exactly. 
And so I'm like, did you change your number? How like, long why? was that? Literally this morning. That's what I've been dealing okay, with this so morning. so what was the DM? What did it say? It was a message of the, it was a TikTok video of like girls that are roommates and one always cooks and one always eats her food. Because that's what I so she's telling think. you. That's she's thinking about you then. She's, she's, she's thinking about you. Yes. Bring in a little bit of humor. But so, on Facebook. And on not Facebook. Instagram. Isn't that weird? She didn't, not your text. Well, she doesn't number. have Instagram. But okay. she didn't text me it, and then she only DM'd me on Facebook, and I never what checked she, Facebook. Yeah. So no. When, when you responded back, is story. this a scam, or was that you? Yes. And she said, yes, it's me. Have y'all had a, an exchange now on text? Yes. Like, what happened to you? Or I was like, you, you okay? made me cry. Good. I was like, and I don't cry. She's like, I know you're heartless. My best friend, oh. heartless little oh. lady. That's what I am to her. Yeah. And so now we're best friends again. Oh, well, oh wow. You, you know what quick. she was doing. <laughs> You are such, she was, she so was so leaving. Oh. No, she told me everything that was going on behind the scenes. Oh, was it something was, it was really, justified? It was totally justified. Okay, totally justified of what she, she was going you. through. Mm. She needed you. In the she moment. needed. No, she didn't need her space. Yeah, space. She needed because space. of me with a exciting little baby, and she was going through something. That's what oh. I was asking. Yes. She was going through something, and yes. she was probably wanting to lean on you, and you weren't able to be there for no. her because you have. No, child. I have this new Another shiny way. thing, yeah. and she was supposed to have this new shiny yes. thing. Um, that's all. Mm. And it's like, here I oh, am, like, oh, look, 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 look. And it's like, well, how can she? We just were on two different yeah. roads. But look, she yeah, left the friendship you. breadcrumb, and now you guys yes. are Yeah, she got the olive branch so, out. I'm glad you oh found Oh, my gosh, way. I'm so happy. I'm, like, relieved. That's good. So relieved. Just, I mean, it sucks for her. I'm so, yeah, and I said that. I was like, dude, I was like, I don't understand why you couldn't come to me. But I think when you're just on two different wavelengths, it's Especially like, when it comes to babies. Yes. And listen, top, for, yeah. for girls, with the babies and the wedding stuff... That could really cause a rift that you can't control because let's say your friend is really, really hoping to get married one day and the guy that she's with is like dragging his feet and blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. And they're like, oh my God, I started dating my boyfriend eight months ago and we're engaged. And it's like, I want you to be my maid of honor. And she's sitting there like, I cannot believe you. When is it's my been turn? eight months. Yes. I've been in this for five years and I'm still waiting. Like that causes friend divorces. Absolutely. And then uh, Sam, and to this day, my husband and I are still living with a friend divorce because we had a baby. Yes. When, when we when found out we were pregnant with our first child, it was such a surprise because mm-hmm. I was like, I was I was told at the OB Jin's office, you're having a baby. And I was like, wait, what? I'm pregnant right now. And he had very close friends that had been trying to have a baby. And they had done mm. IVF and it hadn't worked. And they said they were going to adopt a, a, a child. And we were so excited for them. And when they told him that news that we're going to adopt a child and he was so excited for them, he's like, oh, my God, well, guess what we just found out? We just found out we're having a baby, too. So our kids are probably going to be the same age. Dead silence after that. Was yeah. It? Well, years of dead silence after that. That's a that. them problem, yep. not and a then you problem. We've been married Still now 14 years, yeah. and it was not until like three years ago that the one person reached out to basically say, I'm really sorry we completely just ghosted you after a lifetime of friendship, but we were jealous. Look, we're all human beings. We all but make they mistakes. Had a ba- they have a baby the same age as our child. Yeah, but, but it's different. It's, it's different. For yeah. Them, the it's, way it's yeah. different. It, it totally is. You see so, that, that TikTok video going around with Matthew Perry talking about. I forget the guy that you've seen the actor. He was an unreal. He he got the role of Chandler. He turned it down, uh-huh. mm-hmm. and they were friends. And then he was so mad at the success that Matthew had. He didn't talk to him for years. Oh, two wow. years. Then he called him and said, "Can we talk?" He's like, "You know what? I just I couldn't talk to you. I was just so angry that you yeah, it takes time. The yeah. success. And he's like." The success is not all it's cracked up to be. Right. Yeah. It takes time. Everyone has. It takes time. Yeah. So I'm just, that's a little life update well, good, real least... quick that um, I'm really happy that we can move forward. If you're real friends, you'll be able to see past. Look, we all make mistakes. Oh, absolutely. And I just was we're human beings and devastated. we have emotions. But and... just bombs. Like, like, she, like, you want to yeah. be there for her yeah. when she's done. Right. But I'm glad that's my biggest thing. Look, I'm glad it's only been like this This little blip of a, of a oh, space. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Because yes. you, you guys can still be BFFs. When the when the stretch happens for too long, you can't right. go back. And that's my biggest thing is I wanted to get ahead of that before it was like, okay, mm. dude, two years have passed. What are we even trying to do here? Right. So. Yeah. Okay. Yay. Listen, usually we do <laughs> Scoop Roger by Innovative Lasers of Houston, but let me get Sandra on so I can tell her to hold on because we're going to take her secret. This is oh, a good we got one a good too. secret? Sandra, hi. Can you hear me? It's Rula. Hi. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Just give me a couple minutes. I'm going to come right back. You're going to tell us what okay. your secret you, you're holding and we're going to rate it, Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold we'll be right on. back with Sandra on the Rule and Ryan Show. ARB. Let's do it. With more of the Rule and Ryan Show. Okay. Oh. We thought we were done with Rate Your Secret, but then Rula said, oh, you got to stand by we for this next one. Let Sandra tell us her secret, and we're going to rate that. Um, she's saying by 713 390 KRBE, right. but I think the only one we have time for is this one. Okay. Hi, Sandra. Hi, how are you? Great. What's yeah. something that no one else knows? We're going to rate it from 1 to 10, 10 being the worst, 1 not so bad. Okay. Um, 
So about 13 years ago, when I separated from my ex-husband and had moved out, um, a you know, um, toxic relationship, um, after he lost the house because he wasn't paying on it and stuff, he came and tried to move in with me again into the apartment. Um, mm-hmm. the, 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 and so I didn't want him to move in, mm-hmm. so I knew that he was going to be leaving a, a certain shop. He owed a lot of back child support um, from three previous children that he had. Um, three in one year from three different oh, baby moms. Okay, three, wow. three kids in one year from three different women. Yeah, you know, back three, childs mm-hmm. all those kids. Okay. Okay. Be, before, before I met him, you know, um, you know, young and dumb, right? Uh, yep. years, years ago, um, the, you know, you foolishness of the heart that you fall in love or whatever with this person. But um, so I knew that he was going to be leaving the shop, so I called the police and said, hey, he has Warren for child support. Oh. Uh, he hasn't gone to court. Uh, yeah, I can pick him up. The car is this. It's green. It's got these wow. license plate plates. And they picked him up, and I was able to like rest for a week and and not worry about him trying to come over and get back together and stuff. And that was like the good little break. But That's yeah, smart. I don't re- I don't regret uh, in the past. I've never regretted um for a minute calling the police on him. The rest um, that you needed to keep him away from you. So I don't blame you at all. So I, I think he was in jail fine. for a week. Then I am assuming mm-hmm. that's why he was gone. So he was in jail for a week. Yeah. On he his had no warrant. idea. He's like, how did they catch me? How did they even find me? Yeah. 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 Exactly and he just says he goes. He said, "Oh, they stopped me, and uh, they uh, they were following me, and then they stopped me, and uh, uh, they thought I had tickets or something or whatever, and they ran me, and then I." And I'm like, thank goodness. When they when they told me they had him, I was like, <laughs> oh my God. God. Wow. Wow. okay. So when he got out, Sandra, after a week, when he got out, I mean, you said you had some rest to like get him off your back, right? So he's not bugging you trying to move into your apartment because he lost his house. Then what happened? He's out. Yeah, I moved. I moved his because he had his stuff, and I had it near at the at the door because mm-hmm. he kept trying to spend the night. I would work nights, so oh. he'd come and and talk to the kids, and let the kids would let him in. They were teenagers, and then. And in the morning, he's sitting there asleep. I'm like, no, I've, I've taken, I worked three jobs the entire time of our, of our marriage, mm-hmm. two during the week and one on the weekend, while he worked a part-time job. Ugh. So wow. this guy was just a you deadbeat know? all the way around. Yeah, yeah, and he did that because he didn't want to pay child support on, I'm not kidding, he owed about $100,000 on each oh one of them. Oh, my God. So three kids, he had like $300,000. Oh. So he, the, these kids were already, you know, 14, 15 years old, and he had never paid. Three, you don't have kids children. with him. You had no kids. So with- I had, I had one, but I never filed child support because for what? He yeah, still, he anyway. you know, yeah. He 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 wasn't able to get an ID or driver license for like 10 years because he hadn't paid. He just recently wow. was able to. I think they just wrote it off. He just mm-hmm. recently got an actual. He still had the old ID that uh that you don't scan. Anymore, they had oh, uh, a barcode like a little, on it. before the barcode. Like a wow. kid, there's no barcode. Yeah, how he are had the kids right old. now? It had Ten been years. expired. It had been expired like 15 years. Oh my ID. God. Jeez, are the kids okay now? Yeah. I mean, do they? Cause oh yeah, yeah, they're older and stuff. They're good. You know, my son is uh, almost 30 years old and stuff. And yeah, we're good. You know, it was really toxic and stuff. And uh, the kids were seeing. Uh, my son was 13 at the time, and so he he was starting to get into it with his dad because. We could never do anything right. If we went right, he said, why didn't y'all go left? If we go left, why don't y'all go right? Oh, yeah, um, you know, misery guys. loves company. He was miserable, so he was trying to make everybody else miserable. But once my son started kind of like wanting to, to have uh, like disrespect for him, and I'm like, oh, it's time to go because he's 13. Um, I don't need him getting into it his, with his, with well, his father and never having a... So uh, I'm just glad that that know, week bought you, I guess, the confidence to get his stuff out of yeah. your place. And then you were like, no, mm-hmm. no, we're not answering the door. You yeah. just basically ghosted him. I want to drop him. it off in his mom's house. I'm like, he's not welcome where I'm at. He's not on the lease. Um, mm. We're done. He can, he, he, I, le- I left him. I left him the house and the car. And, and within the, within it. within three months, it was he had lost it. Oh, wow. so, I'll give you a zero. Zero, zero. to one. Yeah, yeah that's not even a bad secret. <laughs> that's that's just secret. awesome that he doesn't know you're the one that busted with the cops. But yeah. you did it for I know, the greater but, good. But, but because in the family, it's like, okay, snitches get stitches, you know? Oh, it's where we kind of gray up and stuff. And I'm, I did. Um, I told him, he has warned. You need to get him. So <laughs> this guy. You need to this guy. He's the color of his car. Three different baby mamas. Three hundred thousand dollars, and, didn't pay, you, and mm-hmm. didn't pay your child support. So probably she never filed. She never filed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the guy really <laughs> owes about four hundred grand. Wow. And have you ever kept yeah. track of what he's doing now? All these years later, does he still come um, around at all? I know that he. No, I know that his, his. He was staying with his dad for a while, and then his dad kicked him out because he's in his fifties and still wanted to be going out to pool tournaments. Oh. Does not work. Uh, Would we'll come home to his dad's house 
um, in the middle of the night, you know, very disrespectful. Like if you're a teenager, 21 years old, or, you know, in your 20s or whatever, mm -hmm. going out with your friends, coming back. You know, he's 50 some years old and he's still coming home. His dad's late, so they, 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 they finally happen? told him it's, no. It's like so failure like a to launch. Total cycle yeah. of just no job, always losing yes. stuff. People give you stuff, you can't hold on yes. to it, no jobs, nothing. Yep. Oh, man, I'm glad you're out of that, Sandra, and I'm glad you called the cops yep. on him. You have a better <laughs> life because of it. That's a good Bravo. secret. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All of us. I moved, away from, moved away from that city and came to Houston, so, yeah, it's it's been a lot better. Well, and then, um, I know he was he was even homeless for a while, for about a week or so, and then he went through some program where they give him, uh, um, like, help them get housing. Mm -hmm. So he's, like, on housing because it still, still won't work, mm. you know. Still so sad work. how many it really deadbeats is. are out there. Crazy. And think about that. How stressful is a parent, though? Because if he's in his 50s, his dad's probably in his 70s, you would think, at least in his 70s. But he's had a whole and life still have it. to be responsible for your child at that point. Yeah, but if they it, does, it sounds like that's job. all that guy's ever known is mooching off somebody else. Yeah. Because she, Sandra said she had like two and three jobs trying to support them. when What they were kind of a person does it take, had, though? I mean, and Eric, I mean, you and I are both dads. Like, for me, the second I held that baby, like, a switch went off on my head. Like, I was no longer the center of the universe in my world. Like, that child, yep. it changed me forever. And Everybody here, right? Same. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. has happened to you. Like it happens. Yeah. It just changes, right? You, the it's dreams like a, you had. A switch goes off. Or not the dreams you, you have kill anymore. Kill for that baby. Exactly. Yep. Kill for that baby. Everything you want, you're like, oh, I want to retire and do this and this and this. Now you're like... I want to make this money for them and make, give them a better life. Or, like, Absolutely. make memories. Yeah, you to know, do if you're, things. You're trying to, like, conserve your money, and you're thinking, okay, well, let's try and make a little bit bigger of a nest egg or have a nest egg or whatever. You know, you don't know how much time you have on this earth, and I'm not saying be frivolous with your money, but my husband and I just had this conversation two nights ago, Eric. He, he was talking about how, you know, it takes – things put – life in perspective for you, whether it's a tragedy or a financial fallout or some drama in your sickness, life, yeah. a sickness, right? And so you think to yourself, and I think this is going on Instagram too, maybe that's how we got on the topic. You have like 18 Christmases with your kid before they become an adult. Now, I'm not saying you're kicking them out at 18 every time, but I'm saying the, the, the magic of your household when you turn off the lights at night and you lock the door that all your kids as your little unit you got 18 of those years with the oldest and then they start to slough off and you got yep. then the next one's like well i have 18 years with this one but one's already gone so you know what i'm saying so we were saying yeah making memories is really like something we need to do let's go on a trip with them that's where we're going to disney we decided last week we used to do it like every year we were like oh let's take a year off but, uh huh if we just stay here, they're just going to want to try and go see their friends or just be on their phones. Be on their phone or, the whole time. Yeah. When we're there, we're a family. Right. We're doing rides unit, together. We're laughing. Just bonding. And you carry Expensive, those experiences with you your whole life. We didn't do a lot of that growing up. We went but on, you remember like, all those trips. You remember the RV. Trips. You remember the yeah. stuff. The two or three you, you have, that that's all you. you talk about. You carry right? that with you your whole and life. They don't have to be big trips. You can take your kid just to go fishing. Yeah. Right. Go down just to Galveston do and fish. Yeah. With Experiences. Your kids. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So for, for sure. us, when we hear about a deadbeat that doesn't want to be in his child's life, doesn't even want to pay for that child, I just, it, I can't relate. It's nope. just so foreign to me. It's sad. And mm -hmm. especially when we meet the Debbies that do this repeatedly. Yeah. Three 300 kids grand? in one year? Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> then they go spend up your credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> What's going down? <laughs> down, down, down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you want to understand what Kevin's talking about, listen to the podcast in the 640 break of yep. the show. You'll hear what happened. Six, like, six o'clock hour of the show doesn't fall at 40. That's it's true, just the six o'clock hour six of the show. Six hour. Daddy, I need another credit card. Oh, this is not no, a golden no. card. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Where's the Daddy no longer has credit cards now. <laughs> or good credit. Because yeah. of that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's brought to you by Duncan. The race for the mayor is headed towards a runoff. That'll be December 9th. It's going to be between John Whitmire and uh, Sheila Jackson Lee. Now, John Whitmire had 42% of the vote with 106,638 votes. Sheila Jackson Lee had 36% of the vote, 89,587. So they say you have to 50%? Is that why? That's if what. If you don't win 50? That's yeah. So you're going to have a runoff, oh. even though. I'm just like, if you get the most votes, don't you just win? He, he did beat her. I think that doesn't, that's not how it works. So, That'd but, be 50%. Yeah, and the voters passed 13 of the 14 Texas propositions on the November um, Yeah, the oh. exemption for homeowners is going up to $100,000. Nice. And then I think for rental properties, I want to say you're going to get like 40000 What's the one it? that didn't pass? What was that Was one? there one that didn't pass? Yeah, there was one, one that didn't it? pass. It wasn't, wasn't the water God, one. It was, was it the El Paso one? It was to help with Mayor yeah, Turner's retirement. You can pay for his new house. In his mm -hmm. We've already done that. <laughs>
<laughs> we've been doing that the whole time. <laughs> we've already done that. By the I'll way, try that. I'd be like sneaky, but like, hey, yeah, guys. Which, by the way, yesterday when I voted, guys, this is the first time I voted on election day. I usually do early voting, uh-huh. and this is the first time. More fun today. It was an actual paper I had to hold. You had a paper ballot. No, it was a paper they gave yeah. me and yeah. I had to enter into the machine. Yeah, that's what I did too. Mm-hmm. Every time I early voted, Kevin, over yeah. here at the Tracy G Community Center next to Caribbean, uh-huh. it's just the dial. I hate that dial. And then you hit enter the dial and it's is over. The worst thing ever. Is it really? Why? Yes, because that why is really. It, why can't it be a touchscreen? I hate that dial. Well, that's what uh, mine Mine was touchscreen yes, now, which so is, I feel yesterday. like, so much easier for seniors. Yes. Like yeah. that whole dial thing had to have been difficult for really anyone I who's think not they familiar with it. that way. Because the dial They wanted to be difficult for people. Because you turn the dial to fill the box. Yeah. And then you, you have to click enter. You want. So now it's outright touchscreen, like it should have been. Should have and, been all along. and then they double up your input yeah. with the paper ballot. So that way it not only goes in the computer, but it's actually printed on paper. Physical and then you copy. have to enter that. Because I go, I don't know what I'm into doing the with bin. This now. And she goes, I yeah. just put it here. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, well, there's more. <laughs> Why am I still like this is my first stickers? They need to change those. They need to be like scratch and sniff. Like it smells like oh, apple Mine's at the city of Houston skyline. Yeah, it smells like, like, smell like Houston barbecue. Mine smelled like an elementary school. Well, that's because that's where I voted. <laughs> that's why, that's why it smelled like that. <laughs> All right, coming up next, guys. If you missed what happened on Closure today, this is where people come to us when they've lost track of someone in their lives. This one was a romantic ghosting. What happened to this guy? Top of the one to know. You'll hear it next on The Rule and Ryan Show.